this is a sub sub plate uterus as you can see it's an in width it measures approximately 13.6 and one of the reasons for its expansion in width is because of these two uh, <coughs> well demarcated hypochoic heterogeneous solid areas, solid lens, this one, in the left arm of the uterus and this one, this is the second one and it measures approximately uh, 44 into 45, the, this is in the right horn of the uterus. <coughs> So these are two solid, ecogenic, rather heterogeneous, well demarcated areas giving no posterior shadow and is consistent with the fibroid in this location. This is the myometry, this is the frontal region and uh, this is the posterior myometry. Here is the endometrial canal, the normal, she has no menstrual disorder and this is the single cervix, this is the vagina, this is the urinary bladder. This is our case of the day. There are a few other small fibroids also seen which are hypochoic and this is the other one which is in the intramural location. This one is also in the submucosal location and in this upper border, this upper line is the endometrial canal and uh, similarly this is the endometrial canal here coming down. Now you have focus on these areas, this one the endometrial canal, subserosal fibroid, this one, uh, sorry uh, submucosal fibroid, it is in the submucosal location in the left horn and this is the uh, <coughs> sub, uh, submucosal fibroid uh, sparing the endometrial canal this one and it's also solid no posterior wall enhancement so <coughs> she the play, the complaint of the patient is that she feels a lump in the umbilical region because this I can trace up to the uh, now this is the umbilical region and here is the uh, fibroid It does not take blood. This is the right horn of the uterus. This is a well demarcated ecogenic area. Okay, now. This is the transfer section of the uterus. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus and you will see both. This is one, this is one of the fibroid endometrial canal or uh, running anterior to it, separate and anterior to it. So this is a fibroid in the submucosal location in the right horn. No significant vascularity is seen in this. Now I'm going towards the left side and here comes the other one. Now this is another, uh, this area. This one. This is the other area, fibroid solidly heterogeneous. Now I am going to move the probe from the transfer to the longitudinal section. Now this is the longitudinal section of the uh, right of the, on the left side and here I move the probe towards the angle the probe rather towards the uh, right side here. 
we do see some blood within this. This is the left, sorry, right side. And now I'm going to curve the probe towards the right side. Here. Here comes the other one. In the center of your screen. This one. This area. So there are uh, two fibroids in submucosal location. In mild vascularity, both are heterogeneous and uh, the uterus is bicornuate. We do not see any significant calcification internal uh, at the margin or internally cystic areas are seen within it. And, uh, this is, you see now, you, this is a clear endometrial canal and the reason why she is, and this is the fibroid on, on the left side, this is the fibroid of some mucosal on the uh, right side. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.